persons have come to this place to, to be made one in holy relationship of marriage. It is understood that neither of them nor others present are aware of any just reason why the contracting parties may not lawfully be joined together. I charge you both before our God and Father, the searcher of all hearts, that if either of you know any reason why you may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, that you now make it known. For should any persons be joined together otherwise than the harmony with the will of God, their union is not blessed of him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And we thank you that your presence brings happiness to every condition of our lives. And we thank you for your favor that sweetens every relationship. We pray that you be present and that you favor Zachary and Kayla, that they may be truthfully joined together as an honorable state of marriage. As they've been brought together by thy providence, we pray that you would sanctify them by your spirit and that you grant them full understanding of this new relationship. Father, we ask that you would enrich their lives by your grace, that, you may, that they may enjoy the comfort, undergo the cares, endure the trials, and perform the duties of life together as Christian people under thy guidance and your protection. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Zachary, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect her, to honor and cherish her in health and in sickness, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others to keep yourself only unto her so long as the both of you shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. Kayla, do you in like manner? solemnly agree to receive this man as your lawful wedded husband to love and respect him and to live with him in all faith and tenderness in health and in sickness in prosperity and adversity and leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him so long as the both of you shall live if so say i do i do Zachary, we'll start with you, Zach. I, Zachary. I, Zachary. I, Zachary. Take you, Kayla, Take you, Kayla. To, be my wedded wife. to be my wedded wife. And I do promise in covenant, and I do promise in covenant. Before, God and these before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in, joy and in, sorrow. in sickness and in health, in and in health. as long as we both shall live. I, Kayla, take you, Zachary, to be my wedded husband. And I do promise in covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. At this time, we're going to ask for the wedding rings. As a token of this covenant, you will now give and receive the marriage rings. May this token and pledge symbolize the purity and endlessness of your love. This ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of our constant faith. Our constant faith. And abiding love. This ring I give to you in token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. At this time, the couple will participate in a communion ceremony. The Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 32, it says, For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. 
on the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and he gave thanks for it. Then he broke it in pieces and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. In the same way, hold on. He took the <laughs> cup of wine after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people. An agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this to remember me as often as you drink. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. So anyone who eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking the cup. At this time, you may commune. At this time, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard from Zachary and Kayla the acceptance and solemn significant vows of marriage. I ask dear Lord that you would grant them the grace, the courage, the love, the loyalty, the steadfastness and the faith to maintain these vows to the end of the way. May this new home radiate the sunshine of your love and may every heart that comes in contact with this home and its several relationships will be enriched and ennobled. We thank you, we pray for all your blessings upon Zachary and Kayla now, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Zachary, you may now salute your bride. <laughs> Zachary. And Kayla are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state. For the first time, I'd like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Keplinger. <laughs> 